Okay, so we are out here and we have this garage door opener where the sprocket has sheared off. So one of the first things I like to do is determine where our travel limits are set. Because as you can see, the chain is moved up forward, but I don't know if inside contacts to the limit sensors are forward or back. So one way I do that is by testing the sensors. So it just blinked, so the door is in the up position. And so basically what we want to do is we want to make sure that it's in the down position. First things first, we're gonna loosen the chain. Then we'll take off the casing. Sixteenth socket wrench. Yeah. Five sixteenth nut driver. Save your hardware. Grinded, sprocket sheared off, not good. Got our new sprocket, nylon gear, sprocket. Very important to put lubrication on this nylon gear, super important. Hey party people, if you're getting any value out of this video, please smash that like button because it really helps out the channel. Now, when you're looking to repair or replace your gear sprocket assembly kit to your garage door opener, there are three things you want to keep in mind. Number one, what type of brand of garage door motor you have. Number two, what type of garage door model do you have? And number three, what type of garage door do you have? Keeping in mind that there are belt drives, chain drives assemblies that will always require specific type sprockets. If you know this information, you should be able to repair and replace your gear sprocket assembly kit to your garage door opener motor. It's good to also put some of this lithium grease on the warm gear. Put in our gear. Tighten up the screws, apply the little gear for the limit sensors, very important. We're going to adjust our chain, we know that the travel trolley should be in the closed position based on our contacts to our limit sensors. Tighten up our chain. We're going to cover up our motor. Okay. Reconnect the motor. Connect the travel trolley. Test the motor. So if repairing your garage door opener by replacing your gear sprocket assembly sounds like a party to you, well then please check out the links below in the description. I'm pretty sure there'll be an option that might suit your needs. And of course, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Because I am nobody. That's going to be it for this one, party people. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and partying with me. Check out this other video right here that can provide you more pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. And as always, 
Y'all stay safe.